only on Christ 17 TV. We got the Philadelphia Phillies eliminating the Braves. Best team in baseball. Orioles got knocked out. Braves got knocked out. Two of the hottest teams. My thoughts. The layoff, I think, killed the Braves. The Phillies playing every day, every day. The momentum was too much. The Philadelphia crowd, too much. Electrifying. Might be, I'm a Yankee fan. But for this playoffs, I'm going for the Phillies. I got my money on the Phillies, and I think they go back to the series and win it this year versus one of them teams from Texas. But this is my thing. Those bats in that Philly lineup are going crazy right now. Bryce Harper, Nick Castellanos, my man Trey Turner getting hot. And Schwarber didn't even really do too much. You know, he's due for a few home runs. Bomb ain't do nothing. Stott hit the grants. I mean, this Philly lineup is stacked. JT, it's stacked. And I'm going to say this. The Braves, everybody thought the Braves were going to the World Series. Everybody I talked to, except me. I told everybody a couple months back, I said, Bryce Harper's warming up. They got a dangerous lineup. In the playoffs, the Phillies got Wheeler and Nola. What a one-two punch. And I told people this. They're going to get the Braves, and they're going to beat the Braves. They should have swept the Braves. But they gave up the four-zip the four zip run, a few earned runs. Trey Turner fucked up twice, but that's okay. They took care of it in Philadelphia, and that crowd is electric. Arizona is good. They're on fire, but they're about to get their first loss of the postseason on Monday. That's what I'm going to say. They're going to throw out Zach Gallen. They're probably going to throw out Wheeler. And Wheeler has been electric. Lights out. So what I'm thinking, I'm thinking this ain't going seven games. This might go five or six games. Philadelphia at home is a different kind of animal and that crowd is bananas when you out there and you see the red october flags psh, the playoff hunt is real the philadelphia fans is the loudest fans right now in baseball the only fans that could match that during october is my yankees but we not in it and right now the philadelphia philly fans is taking that team to a next level. Yeah, crowd is huge. When you got a home field advantage like that, you rarely lose there. You rarely lose. You rarely lose. And they're what there? 4 0 so far at home. I see them going 5 0 on Monday. I see in this, this being Philadelphia's year. I think they get past the Diamondbacks. And I think they end up playing the Rangers. And with that being said, man, Bryce Harper, he shines during the spotlight. And something about that Philadelphia home field is something different. I'm telling you this now. They knocked the Braves on their ass. The Braves couldn't get no runs. And they should have swept them, like I said. But Arizona's on fire. They just knocked out. The Dodgers, which kind of is like the Cowboys in the playoffs. You know, what do you expect, right? But I think the Phillies and I think Schwarber has a big series versus the Diamondbacks. Watch out for Schwarber having a big series. Harper is going to do his thing. Nicky's going to do his thing. They're going to go crazy. And I think right now the Phillies are the hottest team in the playoffs. Besides the Rangers, because the Rangers have not lost, and they've been putting foot in motherfuckers' ass the whole playoffs. So, I think those are the two hottest teams. I think the two hottest teams meet, and that might go seven games. That might go seven games, because that's going to be two lineups that are out this world. So, the pitching's going to have to be extra, extra good. 
for them lineups. So with that being said, I'll see you on Monday, Game 1 in Philadelphia, Zach Gallen, and it says to be announced, but my gut feeling is saying Wheeler throws in Game 1. So I'll catch you on the flip side. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and let's go playoffs, MLB playoffs, October, Red October.